Hey guys, Master Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and we did the Goku yesterday so today we are talking about the Awakening for the Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta, the STR one. I uh, haven't covered the tech one, the new one to come to global or the physical one just yet. They should be coming up soon once I actually get to summon. Uh, I should be getting some more stones very shortly. So we're going to go over this guy, obviously his leader skill is not important, um, we covered all of his stats and more detailed talk about his leader skill in a video that I did with Omnitoast recently, so check that out uh, if you want some more detailed discussion about this guy, but the important things here, because we are running him on the Super Saiyan 3 team, uh, he causes supreme damage with his super attack and raises defense by 30% for 3 turns. And he gives himself attack and defense plus 90% at the start of the turn for his passive. So he's very similar to the Goku, except that he raises his own defense instead of his own attack. So he's going to be more of a tanky unit. Um, his links, he does get a bit screwed over. Unfortunately, the Vegeta shaft is real in this game. And uh, he doesn't have over in a flash. And he also doesn't have prepared for battle. So his only key links are Golden Warrior. Royal Lineage, which no one else really, apart from another Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta on this team, is going to have. Uh, Prodigies is attack. Limit Breaking Form is attack, of course. The Super Saiyan 3 one. So GT is basically his main key link. So the reason why we showcased Goku yesterday and then Vegeta today is because on the Super Saiyan 3 category team, that Goku is actually his best link partner. So obviously we didn't want to... Uh, have him be the link partner for, G for Vegeta before getting his own showcase. So he is going to be the link partner for this guy, but the focus is going to be on Vegeta to see what he can do. Uh, I want to see how well we can get him to tank once he's uh, had a couple of these defense raises. Um, so there's no good physical events on, on the day that I was recording this. So what I have done is, if we click over now... So jumping over to the gameplay, we can see I have taken on the final stage of boss rush and quickly gotten through the first two stages off camera. So we can take on the cooler event. I don't really want to start on either of the other two because I want to get not only the type advantage against the cooler at the end, but also to show off a little bit of uh, the tanking for Vegeta. So what we're going to do is have him super attack this guy so we can see the type advantage and then he is gonna block an attack from the AGL Thouser so we can get an idea how much damage he is gonna take obviously in the first round the enemies are a lot weaker than usual so I mean yeah he took double digits from the physical unit um, he is only super attack 2 unfortunately unlike the Goku he is not farmable so I do not really have spare Kai's to put in this guy. He's not someone I'm going to use in the main rotation for my team. So he's not really worth the Kai investment for me at this point. So I didn't want to uh, unfairly try and compare him to the Goku, who of course was Super Attack 10. But fortunately, with the way his Super Attack mechanic works, this Vegeta seems to be intended to be a little bit more defensive based. So... Hopefully uh, we can get some good tanking out of him. Actually, let's rotate off the Bardock just because he can also be a support unit if our health gets low enough. But between these guys, they should easily take him out. Also, as long as we don't uh, push the meter up too quickly, the added bonus of having started partway through a boss rush is we already had a bit of the Dokon meter filled up. So hopefully we can get ourselves into the situation where we definitely get a Dokon attack against Cooler with Vegeta, which will be good. And uh, of course, I put the old Tech Angel Goku is on the team. I think this is the first time he's appeared in one of my videos as I only very recently pulled him. So, okay, so let's put... How's he got more attack than if he goes there? Oh, I think it's because the triggering of the uh, it's the triggering of the um, Super Saiyan three special link, isn't it? Because um, yeah, we want to see him tank, so I'm going to put him in front of those two attacks rather than just the one. Uh, we'll get Goku to attack Thouser, so that Vegeta can attack someone with neutral 
typing rather than type disadvantage. And of course he is getting the 33% attack boost from having the STR Great Ape Kid Goku on the rotation. So let's see what... Did the Goku just one-shot the Wow, He one-shot the Thousa, so... So let's see. So 300,000 without having had his super attack leveled up. That's not actually that bad at all. Um, super attack 10, you would easily be looking at that being around 500k or more. And of course he doesn't have much investment in the dupe system. Let's have a quick look at him just to clarify what I've done. So yeah, he has very little in the dupe system. He has his free crit and then I had enough orbs to get one of the stars on his top left. So of course you know me, I gave him level 3 dodge. And uh, yeah, he's only super attack 2. So he's not here to do damage, at least for the purposes of this showcase. So let's get rid of... Cooler should take him out this turn easily enough. Let's see if the uh, the Goku here obviously having a type disadvantage, but well, doesn't matter. Gets a crit, 1.35 million. Very powerful unit. I'm very glad I finally pulled him. The uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is now the only 120 lead that I don't have. So we are going to put, okay, so he's not going to super attack, but that's okay. Because we're going to put the Vegeta here so that he can get his super attack off first, get that defensive raise, and then he will, we'll see how well he will tank with type disadvantage once he's given himself that buff. The Goku tanking pretty well anyway, so... Let's see how much difference that type disadvantage makes. So yeah, he's about he's buffed his defense enough that it's essentially cancelled out the type disadvantage. And the Goku has slightly higher stats than him because he has a few more orbs. So that is actually not bad at all. Um, let's get those for the rainbows. And then we want to make sure we... Don't don't want to get a Dokon attack this turn. We want to take him out here with Goku, ideally, and then go straight on to the final form cooler with Vegeta on rotation, ready to Dokon attack. That would be ideal. Don't quite take him out though, and unfortunately two STR units are not going to finish the job so hmm. and yeah unfortunately with the way the key is on the uh, rotations we are not going to be able to avoid super attacking with anyone so we are just going to have to go for it unfortunately Getting the Dokon mode just that little bit too early. Didn't quite work out as I would have liked. Thanks to the uh, earlier stages of the boss rush. But let's see what we can do here. If he at least gets a crit, it'll be a good representation of his damage. But sadly, if he doesn't, he is probably not going to hit all that hard. So let's see what he can do here. Well, he got a crit, so 774,000, that's actually not too bad. Obviously, you want your, uh, when you're running teams like this, your main Dokon Fest exclusive units are going to be hitting for over a million, but that's not bad considering he is Super Attack 2, so definitely would have been well over a million if we were, uh, if we actually had him at Super Attack 10. Uh, grab those. You never know, when I get around to doing the uh, three discounted multi-summons on that Super Saiyan 3 category banner, I think I need one more dupe for his actual dupe puffs. So if we pull more than one copy of him, then uh, the rest will go into levelling up his super attack. Maybe, I guess it depends, because if we pull the tech GT Vegeta, I'm quite interested in trying him out. But of course, his super attack's not farmable either, so 
It's the problem with the new Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta units. They look really interesting and I really want to pull them and try them out on this team. But they both will require Kai's to raise their super attack. So we'll have to see how we get on in that regard. So of course Bardock, the physical, uh, the intelligence unit is taking the super attack from the physical enemy. But what do you expect? So we're on the final stage boss, which as we know is the highest defense so far even with the type advantage so we're gonna grab a bomber item here just to get a little bit of extra attack and defense and we've got the goku on rotation as well for that 33 percent attack boost so we should see very strong tanking and a fairly decent hit here from the vegeta let's see what we can do yeah so tanking very well of course and then 329,000 again not the worst considering only super attack 2 and then that attack buff you can see they got dealt even less damage Goku coming in with the level 3 dodge so Vegeta sadly didn't get his but Goku decided to show him how it's done I, I swear I say this to people all the time when they question me about it but I seem to almost not have a single video recording anymore without somebody getting that level 3 dodge so I will absolutely swear by it so good old level 3 dodge and then I guess we could have just put somebody else first to take him out because I don't think Vegeta will finish him off here by himself especially because it appears like his passive has run out but he does take him out so at least another STR Vegeta putting in some work there. <laughs> so there you go. That is a quick showcase of the GT Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta STR type. Uh, he's definitely not the best. If you have the Goku, I would use the Goku on the team over him as a slot filler. If you only had one place on the team that you needed to fill. But of course, he is a character with a different name if you are looking for more units to fill slots on your team. And as you saw here, if you do have the Goku as well, they form a very good rotation together. Um, unfortunately, you're probably going to want stronger units on your main rotation. But since the Goku raises his attack as opposed to his defense, I would definitely say the Goku is a more solid option. I do really love the artwork for this guy though. The uh, They definitely did well with the awakenings for these two units artwork wise. So let me know what you think in the comments guys. Not just the artwork but the card itself. Um, which do you, If you've pulled the tech one let me know what you think of the differences between the two. Hopefully I'll be able to get a summon video for that out in the next day or so. So um, that is going to be it for the Vegeta Showcase. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed what you saw and subscribe if you are new. Uh, follow me at TheMasterNingen on Twitter and Instagram, or you can join the Discord, the link is in the description. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers here at the channel, so hashtag 1000 Mortals Plan all over the comments. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one!